I was recently contacted by a company that I have been gently stalking on social media for a little while. I'm sure that by this point, many of you, if not most of you, are familiar with the company Night Angel. This brand has become very popular in the hamster keeping community over the last couple of years, and I myself have been waiting for their products to become available in my geographical region. A couple of weeks ago, they got in contact to let me know that their products are becoming available in more European countries now. And then they asked if I'd like to try some of their products. And that is not an offer you say no to. So this is what arrived, and I have no idea what's in any of these boxes. Having a clue. I mean, I know it's Night Angel products, but... I will say I am surprised by the amount of stuff they seem to have sent, because this didn't come with any rules or any agreement. This wasn't sent to me in exchange for making a video on it. But because there were no stipulations, I was anticipating just a small box of a few things to try. What I was not expecting was three 25 kilogram boxes. So thank you very much, Night Angel. I am very excited to get into these boxes and find out what you've sent. Question. Night Angel, darling, did you send me one of every product? I think this is the most exciting thing that's happened to me this year. <laughs> oh, that says a little bit too much about my life. This is genuinely amazing, and I'm pretty sure it's the biggest unboxing that this channel has ever done, or will ever do, most likely. Unfortunately, I have run out of filming time for today. It took me so long to take all the little boxes out of the big boxes that the sun's now going down, so I will have to leave this stuff here and tackle it again tomorrow. Also figure out how I'm gonna film this because I had a plan. The plan's been scuppered by the sheer amount of stuff. So I'm gonna go away for a few hours and make a new plan. I'll see you in the morning.
Well, I hope you're enjoying the video so far because I'm going to interrupt it to try and sell you merch. Some of you noticed that my merch store has been MIA for the last couple of months and that is because I've been working on moving it to a new platform. I was having some issues with the old host platform, uh, both technical issues and issues with the fact that they seem to be constantly raising the price of the products. I just don't think that somebody should have to empty out the entire content of their wallet just to own a fun t-shirt. So I moved my store over to a new platform where the prices for you guys are a lot more reasonable and where they actually pay their artists a decent cut. Anyway, we've got some brand new designs coming into the store. We've got new fall designs. So come check out the merch store. It is linked in the description box beneath this video and every video going forward. It's a really easy way you can help support the channel and get some fun stuff for yourself. When I was unpacking the big boxes, I knew straight away that they'd sent me two wheels. And I knew that because there were pictures of the wheels on their boxes. Pretty big giveaway. This is very exciting on its own, especially this one. This is a Syrian sized wheel. It's 11.8 inches. I have not had a new Syrian wheel since 2013. The one that Lemonade is using right now, that is the only Syrian wheel I've had in the last 10 years. And listen, it's a good wheel. It's the Trixie Rodent wheel, not to be confused with the Rodent wheel, which is a different thing. As a lower cost wheel, it's a decent option and it's still going. I won't say it's going strong, but it is still going. So to now have a brand new high quality Syrian wheel, this is a whole new world for me. This is very exciting. Also, completely silent. Barely a whisper. That's incredible. That is amazing. I am blown away by basic technology. But I have to put these two to the side for a moment because what I did not expect is a third wheel. The feel of the wind coming off this is louder than the sound. Try to make sense of that if you will. So this is the 11.8 inch wheel. You know what? Side by side, it doesn't look like there's as much in the difference, but it feels in person, this feels so much bigger. So we have the eight inch wheel, the 11.8 inch wheel, which is basically a 12 inch wheel. And I'm not sure how big this one is, I'm guessing 12 and a half maybe? And a 100 gram Syrian. Silent. I tell you what, as well, the spin goes for ages. Like that. It's not even slowing. Holy crap. That's a really good wheel. It seems so stupid to be impressed by a wheel, but the entire time I've been keeping hamsters, I've always gone for budget-friendly wheels or DIY'd my wheels. And you don't get silent DIY and budget-friendly wheels. And look, I'm not gonna lie to you, these are not low-cost wheels, and I've always been afraid of getting the more expensive wheels. Some of these commercial wheels can be a lot of money to gamble on, especially when you're hearing mixed reviews about the functionality. But I dare say, so far, these wheels might actually live up to their price tag. Right, enough of me gushing over these wheels, we've got more things to look at.
Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. And that's everything Night Angel sent. It is still a crazy amount of stuff to look at. Some of it, I don't know how I'm going to have the space for storing. I will figure something out. Before I end the video, I want to briefly talk about the packaging, the way it was packaged when it was sent, because of course this is something uh, that most, if not all of you guys, will be interested in in knowing about if you intend to order from Night Angel in the future. Overall, I felt the items were well packed for the international journey they had to go on. Whoever packed those larger boxes is an expert at Tetris. Not a gap was left, which is exactly how you want it to be because fewer gaps means less shuffling around in transit, which means less likely for things to get broken. And when it came to these small boxes, again, everything was appropriately wrapped to what it was. The majority of the wooden supplies were packaged inside just plain cardboard boxes, which is fair enough. That's about as much packaging as you need for something that's made out of wood. But if you are somebody who is a bit more conscious about the amount of waste you're producing when you order from companies online, it, you should know that the acrylic products, all of the acrylic products come wrapped in this kind of foam packaging stuff. It's like a mixture between packing peanuts and cling wrap. So if you're conscious about contributing to less waste, the wooden products come in recyclable packaging, the acrylic products do not. Now fortunately, I do have a use for this foam packaging. I spent about three or four hours last night cutting it up into tiny little cubes, which is what this bag is full of, and I'm going to use it to stuff the inside of a floor cushion because this stuff is surprisingly comfy. If you've got the time to cut it down, it, it's useful and free, so who's complaining? And as for these cardboard boxes, cardboard's an incredibly useful material to have around, and again, it's free, so I'm keeping it. You'd be surprised just how many things you can make from cardboard. It's very versatile. This is all the actual rubbish that I have to throw away from this. Everything else is getting recycled in one way or another. And this bag is full of cellophane wrapping and all the sellotape that I pulled off the cardboard boxes. So I think that's all to say for this video. Thank you once again to Night Angel for sending a ridiculous amount of stuff. I bloody appreciate it. I suspect that a lot of it is gonna end up inside the dwarf enclosure, which, side note, I spent like a month designing all the furniture I was gonna build for inside that enclosure. I don't think I really need those plans anymore. Or perhaps I'll save them for a future cage. Who knows? And of course, Lemonade's gonna get some of this as well. She deserves some new things. She's 18 months old now. She's officially a senior hamster. She's doing good though. No need to worry about her. I don't, I don't wanna accidentally scare anyone. And you know the drill. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Comment down below if there's something you wanna say. If you wanna ask me any questions about any of the products that I received, I will do my best to answer them for you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out the merch store, which is linked in the description box beneath this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys whenever I see you. Bye. Golden, I follow you. Golden, golden, golden things. Golden.